Good man, David. Clear all the way. 67.02, time allowed. 72 seconds, David Murdoch clear with Joe Dean and Carmel. Don't forget, of course, whoever's the top three in this class tonight, and if they go on and win at that Grand Prix tomorrow evening, get themselves a £1,000 bonus, courtesy of the team at Andrews Bowen. It's only ever been done once before, and this is the man who did it, Jay Hallam. He's riding Derby, his first of a couple, 7-7-0, Derby. One of last year's victors uh, going well and cleared there for uh, Jay Hallam. Through he goes. We welcome Rose Moss next to go. Louisa Struts, Carlos F. 175 is the number. Good results on both the international and national circuit with some good performances in the big classes. At the Kiso International, that two-star international at the back end of the year, Carlos F. Rose Moss. Just that auction on the far side going for four faults for Rose at Moss, 67 seconds exactly. Matt Sampson's here, good to see him at the Blue Chip Winter Show Jumping Championships with uh, his own horse, Billy Tortier. 1084 is at the number for Matt Sampson.
not having that, I'm afraid. Elimination there for Matt Sampson and Billy Tortier. E.P. Alata goes next, Jennifer Dowling owns and Alice Watson riding. 1024 is their number. Alice produced this over the last uh, sort of two years or so. The wins at all levels, discoveries, newcomers, Fox Hunters, 125s, 130. Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy tonight for Alice Watson, 10.24. Total of eight there for Alice Watson, eight and 62 seconds, exactly. Another former winner of the Grand Prix here at the Blue Chips is Tracy Priest with Caristo VDL, number 1134. Loads of fun with this horse, including National Finals Horse of the Year show, particularly that uh, grade C. Was fifth in this class here last year with a double clip. Yes, all good there from uh, Tracy Priest and uh, Carisso, two, two former Grand Prix winners through to the jump off. Alfie Bradstock's next to go. Graham Fletcher's Temple Rebus. 10 10 is the number. Again, here last year, jumping well in this class to uh, go double clear and take money home. Temple Rebus, 10 10.
All good there for uh, Alfie Bradstock, clear. Gemma Ellison's our next to come forward, riding uh, El Rond, one of Jay Hunt's horses, actually. Now, seen her jump this internationally at 140 level. 9.02, El Rond. Total of eight there for uh, Gemma Ellison and Elrond. William Fletcher's next word to go. Next to go, every time, anywhere, B. Graham Fletcher owns the horse. Number 10, 30. William Fletcher. Four for jumping, 24 for time, I'm afraid. Turn the 28 for Will Fletcher. The wonderful outcast goes next for the Eurosports horse team and Menel Watson, number 765. A lot of experience with this horse, including some great wins on the area trial circuit uh, over the last several years. Outcast, Menel Watson.
That's a real shame. We'd love to have seen that uh, gone clear, but unfortunately, it's four for Menel Watson and outcast. Kerry Brennan, our next to go, having some great form both internationally and at home with this uh, horse that was a talent seeker finalist at Horse Theatre Show last year, Dynamic the Third. 792, Kerry Brennan. Well, just not her day with that one, I'm afraid. 16 jumping. Six time, total of 22 for Kerry Brennan. Now it's Nicola Barry's turn with her own Darry in the second. 168 is their number. Had a lot of blue chip championship places here, including the calm performance in the years gone by. It was second in the BNC here last year as well. Seen him. Uh, Plays well in Grand Prix on the circuit, especially Wales and West last year. Nicola Barry, Darien, 168. Force to be reckoned with at the moment, Nicola Barry with Darien. Congratulations, going clear. We'll see you in the jump off a little later. Bling Bling is the rider, John Crippen. Abby Winterburner. It's Bling Bling the fourth. 251 is their number. Five uh, clears and the 12 gone so far.
One down for four faults. Four it is for uh, John Cribbin and uh, Bling Bling the fourth. Julie Minch's turn now with Alan Pyman to risk it. 5.39. Some brilliant wins abroad with this horse. Placed in uh, the Ariat class uh, yesterday. Some good results with this at Blue Chips, actually. Julie Mincha, risk it. And its number is 539. Thanks, Julian. Saves that one horse for another day and retires. Risk it retires. Well, Corin Collins last night was simply on brilliant form when uh, took victory in the last class last night. But she's uh, in the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy with always faithful Bugatti B. 479, Corin Collins. Well, a total of eight there for uh, Bugatti this evening for eight faults for Corin Collins. As Sarah Hedges just comes next with Breaker N. Remember this when she brought it out as a five year old uh, some six years ago, taking it right through the grades. Sarah Hedges, Breaker N.
to the 12 there for Red Sarah Hedges and Breaker M. Joseph Fernieho next to go with the horse that he rode into second place in those National Under-16 Championships last year at the Nationals. Countess the second. 6.34 the number, Joseph Fernieho. Top man, well done, Joseph Fernieho goes clear there. Young, young talent indeed going clear with Countess at the second. James Winter's turn, Cosmo Boy, 361, riding for uh, Tim Sheffings. Plays international on small tour circuit and medium tour this year, 361. James Winter. Not today, I'm afraid. Total of 16 there for uh, James Winter. Bobby Strong's next to come forward. Bobby Strong then, Benny Strong's at Tilrevi. It's me, 858 is at the number here. Placing the Grade C final at the Nationals of last year. Some nice 125, 135 double clears. Trot out, James, please.
Yes, yeah, all good there for Poppy Strong and Tell Reeby, it's me. Clear round number seven. Team Summerhouse join us then, and it's Rachel Gallup with Helen Gallup's Renoir de Rock 650. Our 20th combination to come forward. Eight, I'm afraid, there for uh, Rachel Gallup, 68, 72, and eight. The man who won it last year, and with his second ride of the Boutier Pro Open Challenge trophy, Jay Hallam, already clear with Derby. This will be the horse who'll jump in the Grand Prix tomorrow. VIP the second for Rachel Hart, 768. Sixty-eight, sixteen, four. There for VIP and Jay Hallam. Brian Smith next to go. Elizabeth Coles is done. Given sunrise. Eight four nine is uh, the number. Again, another produced some great horse over the years from novice at Grand Prix level. As Brian, done. Given sunrise. Eight four nine.
12 for jumping and uh, seven time, total of 19 there for Brian Smith. Chantelle Duggan's next to go. She was jumping double clears and getting placed in the BNC final here last year with Port Phillip Queen. 308. Chantelle Duggan. Twelve for jumping and fifteen time for Chantel. Not today, I'm afraid. Twenty-seven total. Warren Miscontendro next to go. Nicola Bates uh, has the ride and doing a tremendous job with the horse. Actually, formerly with Tim Stockdale and Danny Ryder originally. Nicola Bates, it is Warren Miscontendro five nine one. Super, well done uh, to Nicola Bates. Um, Warren Miss Contender going clear for her there. Ebelenski is next to come forward. It's owned by the Everson family. And uh, this is a horse actually qualified the newcomer final last year with former rider Samantha Jimison. Matt Sampson has the ride these days. 10.82.
Total of eight there for uh, Matt Sampson. Let's move on to Mark Thompson now. Pop the horse around the 120 last night to give it a show round before today. Uh, the Sport Horse Centre studs Alex H. 929, Mark Thompson. Unlucky Mark, just the four there, that ox on the far side for you for recording. Seven clears at the moment as we go to Alice Watson. We're in the mood here, in the mood VHK. Terry Davis owns 10.25 the number. Thank you, Alice. Alice retires there. Rose Moss is next to go with her next ride. It's Kaliva, number 177. Just uh, unfortunately had four faults with her first ride with Carlos. Let's see if we can get her through here then. Kaliva, 177, Rose Moss.
No problems that time for Rose Moss. Congratulations. Clear round at number eight goes to Kaliba. Carusa de Rezen on Tracy Priest riding then, number 1136. With uh, her next ride, already clear, of course, on Caristo. Tracy Priest. Yes, well then, uh, tell it to Tracy Priest, he's through with Caruso de Rez. Tegan Jones is on board Animal Louie, number 193, as our next to come forward. Let's see if we can round it up to those 10 clear, shall we? Billy Jones owned. Started off super, but a couple down uh, going towards home for eight folds for Tegan Jones. Eight it is, Animal Louis. Florence Bell's next to go. Chippy's here. Chippy BFZ, 98 the number. Doing well enough in the open class last night to take some money in the uh, Ariat open class.
Turn of the mate there for uh, Florence Baum, 66.57. Tom Whitaker's next to go. Good to see him here. Won't be a Grand Prix tomorrow night without a Whitaker in it, would it? Where is he? Thank you, Evelina W. Twelve for jumping and as a result that prom coming towards home. Twenty-five time for Tom Whittaker, total thirty-seven. Ambly Walk is the ride of Eleanor Nightingale next to go, number six at five eight. Thirty-two gone then with nine clears. Eleanor Nightingale next. Six fifty-eight. So uh, 12 jumping and uh, six for time there for Eleanor Nightingale, I'm afraid, with Amberley Wall. Eve Stavely is our next to go, based up in the north, represents the Warrington uh, Volkswagen team with her own shadow, the fourth, number 1125. 
place here on uh, more than one occasion here with this horse. Tenure on there. That's a real shame, Eve, it really is. Just the four there, I'm afraid. 67 to 8 and 4 recorded. Alex Thompson's our next two uh, come forward on uh, good form on Sunday afternoon at Western uh, Lawns, going double clear in the 140 classes there. Took money at Vale View uh, a couple of weeks before, jumping double clears in the 130s. Catalina the fifth, Alex Thompson, 672. Alex goes clear there with uh, Catalina, well played. Clear round number 10, we're there into double figures. Michael Potter next to go, uh, riding his own horse, just a dream capital, number 489. Technically, this horse is still in newcomers, but it has jumped a lot on the international circuit, going very well out in uh, Lier at the earlier part of this year. Michael Potter. Eight for jumping and uh, 15 time there for Michael Potter, 23. 
Well, John Ellis our next to go with Ashdale Lewis and a horse at um, basically took the ride over in January of this year. Charlotte Flack had some good results of it. Had Ellen Whitaker, Martin Grobney, who brought it out, Anthony Condon, Ashdale Lewis and John Ellis, 659. Turn the bait there, I'm afraid, for uh, John Ellis. But as I say, fairly new rider, and he had the horse won a couple of months out. Casherelle's next to go. It's Bryony Ward with her own horse, number 253. Plenty of 130 double clears this winter time for this one. Sixteen for jumping, nine for time, twenty-five in total there for Brian Ward. Well, David Murdoch's our next to go. We've already seen him go clear with Jolene de Carmel, but this is a new addition to his yard that uh, brought into country literally a couple of weeks ago. Had a couple of double clears in one thirty-fives over Addington Manor, and more recently at Felbridge. David Murdoch then for the brand new Home Farmer Question team on Core Ten Eighty.
Unlucky, David, just that uh, last fence down, but a great new addition to your yard. Uh, Encore just finishing on 4.67.23. But we will see in the jump off later the other ride. The Cheshire base, uh, Kelly Roberts, are next to come forward with a very talented Raymond, number 280. Good performances at Southview recently, getting placed in that winter grade C qualifier. But at the elite show at Aintree uh, in the back end of January, jumped double clear to take second in one of their 135 opens. Husband Graham watching at home on the live stream. Kelly Roberts. Well, I'm absolutely delighted for Kelly Roberts going clear. It's only clear round number 11 with Raymond, a horse brought in internationally from Holland a couple of years ago by some very nice people. Alfie Bradstock's next to go. Diane Wilson's Tiger Bright, number 10, 11. Qualified for that BNC final tomorrow, taking second in that qualifier as well. But will we see it in the Grand Prix instead? Tiger Bright, Alfie. Well, for Alfie, uh, with that one, 66, three, six, Tiger Bright. Millie on air is number 599. Millie on air is our next to come forward. And the Hilton riding for uh, Cindy Hilton. Nine years of age now, brought on as a young horse by Emily herself.
Hey, for jumping, I think we're going to match that with time. Are we? Yes, eight of those. Total of 16, Emily Hilton. Denzel the second, next go. Vicky Burns riding for Team Bevan then, number 27. 11 clears and the 42 uh, gone so far. Probably another 19, 20 left to go. Unlucky Vicky, just the uh, four faults there for Vicky Burns. Menno Watson back now with his second ride. Sadly, had four faults with ride number one. Uh, this particular horse has won five open classes in its last six outings, including taking the 140 at Western Lawns on Sunday afternoon. For the Eurosport horse, Whisper in the Wind, 766, Menno Watson. Super done again as uh, Menel Watson going clear. One to watch for sure for taking uh, this class tonight, the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy. Harrison Hattier next to come forward. Laura Hattier is at 4th of July the 2nd. A horse that Harrison produced himself over the last uh, few years, right up from novice level. Now, it's only a seven-year-old now, but it has been jumping some very nice 135 double clears. At places like Addington, Summerhouse, Bishop Burton, and uh, went well at Wales and West at their first meeting last weekend.
12 jumping, 23 time there for Harrison Hartier. Will Fletcher next to go, Glory Rose, number 10, 12. Um, recently, over the last few weeks, been winning the 130 National Opens at Summer House for Fun, won several of those, actually. Glory Rose, 10, 12, Will Fletcher. Hard lines, Will, just the four faults there for William Fletcher and Glory Rose. Well, James Johnson's here, and he's got a good history in this class with Zucchini van der Zuthover, because for the last two years in this Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge trophy, he has put in double clears to take home money. Zucchini van der Zuthover, 5.76. Marion Clark owns. Well, he's gone clear again. Could it be three years in succession to go double clear in this class here at the Blue Chip Winter Championships? John Crippen then with the uh, support of Patricia Brown, who owns this horse. Lock the two to OB290 is the number. On some great 135s over the Winter Series. John Crippen, 290.
to the 12th, I'm afraid, for uh, John Crippen, remain on those 13 clears. The Coriano Brett, uh, 30 year old grade eight, Cairo Z, the seconds are next to come forward here. Millie Dixon uh, riding. Still of eight there for Cairo Z and Millie Dickinson. Kay Rellins are next to come forward then. The wonderful Wellington M for Leanne Smith, who owns. Winner of 135 at Irene UK just a couple of weekends ago and at Berry Farm. Super, little well, he does it again, and safely goes through. Wellington M at four, uh, Kerry Brennan. Nicola Barry is next to go with True Blue the third, number one that's 69. Nicola then with her uh, second ride. Already clear on Darien earlier.
Uh, 12 for jumping for Nicola that time, 24 time, 32, but she's still clear on her first ride. Rankin not for the next to come forward, the combination that uh, last year we're winning the blue, tip, the blue chip joint RLF championship here. That's the newcomer horses. So second in the Karma last year, as eighth in the Karma last year as well. Good luck, Claudia Reese. Not to be there for Claudia Reese, I'm afraid, and uh, Rankin not for that elimination. Now, Corin Collins, can you repeat last night's performance? Because it was brilliant. A uh, brilliant winner yesterday. Dolores P here, Corin Collins, 478, the number. Sensible. Um, what a difference they make. Corin retires there with Dolores P. Well, Barracuda DS is uh, owned by Michelle Hutchings, who's had a great success story with this horse. Horse that uh, originally was purchased at the world famous Brightwell Sales in Addington Manor. And Julie Mincher taking the ride uh, on board for Michelle because she's expecting once more. Julie Mincher then, Barracuda DS 11 12.
This is a brand new ride, as you mentioned. Been uh, literally first ride on it yesterday and retires there with Barracuda DS. Uh, where are we going now to Miles O'Donnell? It is David O'Donnell's Busato 408 is their number. Regular 130 double clears. Clear there for uh, Miles O'Donnell, 68.39. That is clear, isn't it? Goes through, is clear round number 15. Well done, young man. Michaela Huntington next to go. It's Allegro Z, 443, the number. Two great wins of the 135 in the big classes at the Kiso International. Good wins on the Premier Circuit also, 135 and above level. Super well done, McKay. It's going to be a good jump off this with 16 of them through now. Allegro Z is also there. Well, Rose Moss next with her next ride. It's Weston. Had four faults on uh, Carlos a little earlier. Then went clear on Kaliva.
Clear there for uh, Rose Moss going through his good hand number 17. Can't find Alice Watson for some reason. So Jordan Gans. Oh, we found her, but Jordan Gans here, so that's good. We'll carry on. 9949, Lakeland Dancer it is for Jordan Gann. Great to see partners at Hoys last year. Been jumping some nice 135 double clears this winter. Super, she did a great job with that horse, she really is. Jordan Gannett, clear, Lakeland Dancer. Alice Watson now with her second ride, this time back with KEC Havana. Here she is, uh, number 10.23. 10.23, Graham, this, Alice Watson. Just a four there for Alice Watson, number 10, 23. We're back on track now with Matt Sampson and Roy the fourth, number 10, 83. 10, 83, Matt Sampson.
Good man, Matt Sampson. He goes clear. He's clear out number 19. We're in for some jump off when we get there uh, with about 10 left to go in the first round. Tracy Priest turn now. It's Ninja Sue. She's back with her next ride. Went clear with uh, Caristo. Then came back with Carusa Dres. Went clear with that one. It could be three out of three here. It's um, a fault there, 6905 for Tracy Priest, but two out of three ain't bad. David Murdoch's next to go, Raphael von Berkbrook, number 820 for uh, the home farm team. Went clear with Julian de Carmel. Just had one fence with uh, the new ride Encore for the home farm team. Still the bait there for David with uh, that uh, one, Raphael von Bobro, but he's still in that jump off with his early ride. Uh, who got there? Lolly. Lauren Edwards it is. Andrew Doswells, Alessandra G. Our next to come forward. This is uh, number 1128. Eight years of age. Went well on the Young Hall circuit last year as a seven-year-old at various shows.
Yes, well then, Lolly goes through there. Are clear with Ella Sandra G. Now, Liam Fitzgerald's our next to come forward. And you may remember last year how he entertained us uh, in several classes, going double clear and taking sixth place in the Blue Chip Grand Prix here last year. And went on to uh, jump double clear in several Grand Prix on the national circuit. Cowboy, Liam Fitzgerald. Other lines there, Liam, just the uh, four with a cowboy. But hopefully, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow in that Grand Prix. Can you go higher than sixth as you were last year? Dakota P is next to go. Harry Wainwright riding Dakota P, number 10, 85. 21 clears, albeit we're aware of one that's withdrawn from the jump off. So 23 at the moment with seven to go. Unlucky Harry, just the four faults there for Harry Wainwright. Six to go, and Zoe Potter, the newly married Zoe Potter, is the first of those. Michael Potter's Miss Pikachu, number 488. This is also qualified for the BNC qualifier tomorrow. Will it do that or the Grand Prix? We'll find out tomorrow. Zoe Potter, Miss Pikachu.
Not tonight, I'm afraid, for Jay Potter, 70.39 and four. Ryan Page is next to go. Put a good performance uh, yesterday in that opener for the Ariat Open class last night with the Sport Horse Centre Studs, Colorado P930. Six, seven, eight, and four there for Ryan Pay. Rochdale's finest is Claire Shepherd, El Diablo Grande now, number five at 51. Jumped a very good class uh, yesterday, takes second in the Ariat Open. So the 12th tonight, then, afraid for uh, Claire Shepherd. Three to go in this first round. Claire Van Overest said next for William Record. Jumped into a place last night in the open class. Numerous 130 double clears this winter.
6690 and just a four there for William Recker. Yaz Davis now with the wonderful Sylvester the second, number 237, owned by Alison Davis. Had a good run, actually, especially on the international circuit, going well out in Cronenberg. Uh, uh, there, two star international back in February. Some good results on the other 25 classes out in Barbizon at the back end of last year. Yaz Davis. Nicely done, Yaz. We'll see you in the jump off. That's our 22nd clear. Couple have withdrawn, though. Stacey Court next to go. This is uh, Gigant, number 740. Grade B now, the horse went to, uh, well, just a couple of the open classes recently at Horton Hall. Good win of an open class at Norfolk Show Jumping Club in the middle of March. Hard lines there, Stacey, just the four faults for Stacey Cook to conclude the first round of the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy. We'll get set and ready for the jump off. Those who are on live stream, get yourself a cup of tea. We'll be back with you as soon as we can.
Right, let's take a quick look at the jump off course. It's the first four fences, one, two, three, A, B, and uh, four. Then from there, we turn right-handed to 6A, that ox are coming back down across to the diagonal. Left to 9A, first part of the double. Upright, going away from the trade sand. Fence 10, the ox are at the top, coming away from the cafeteria area and concluding over fence number 11, the um, red pillar boxes from uh, London 2012. 20 are coming forward, it's 600 pounds to the winner tonight. Nine will come in for the presentation, 15 cash prizes in total. And it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because there's so much money on offer tomorrow night, especially if uh, going through, but it's trying to place it in the top three, isn't it? Because those top three riders tonight, if they go on and win the Grand Prix uh, tomorrow night, get a thousand pounds bonus, courtesy of uh, Andrews Bowen, the brilliant team of David Andrews and uh, Simon Bowen at Andrews Bowen Surfaces won last year actually by Jay Hallam so is history going to repeat itself and we'll have a second bonus winner a couple of former winners in the jump off here Tracy Priest has got a couple through Kerry Brennan on fire of course with Wellington M Jordan Gans in there going well with Lakeland Dancer Kelly Roberts jumped superbly with Ramon she's through as well and David Murdoch under the new team of uh, Home Farm show jumpers, will be our first to go in just a few moments' time. Now, just before we get underway as well, for everybody, those of you watching on live stream and those of you here, um, have a look at these riders tonight and decide who's going to win the Grand Prix tomorrow. Because if you can do that, you can go onto Facebook and just uh, search in the search box box the blue chip winter show jumping uh, facebook page and you can win a bundle of blue chip clothing and saddle pads if you if you get the right rider who wins on the night um you will win but you have to be here to win it so don't forget to get your gala tickets uh, for tomorrow night you have to be in it to win it and be part of uh, tomorrow evening great night as always on the friday here at the blue chip winter show jumping championships going to be a close call tomorrow. All the uh, runners and riders are listed on that Facebook page. Mr. Murdoch, the very best of luck to you. What's he going to do here? It's an eight-year-old up-and-coming superstar. It's Jolene de Carmel for the home farm team at 821. David Murdoch. We're going to have to wait and see uh, because it's four for jumping and a couple of time falls. 56, 1, 8, total of six for David Murdoch with Jolene de Carmel. Tracy Priest is next to come forward then with her first of a couple of rides through to this jump off. Former Grand Prix winner here, Penny Priest at Caristo at VDL. 11.34. Best of luck, Tracy Priest.
just a fall there, but uh, 44.65 for Tracy Priest. He has another ride to come a little bit later in this Blue Chip Pro Open Challenger Trophy. A few problems in the clattering and being told to Alfie Bradstock uh, on his way moment with Graham Fletcher's Temple Rebus. 10-10 is the number. Was placed in this class here last year with a double clear. Went on to win a good performance in the Grand Prix as well. Alfie Bradstock, Temple Rebus, 10-10. Four faults, 48-47 and four there for uh, Alfie Bradstock. Still looking for our first uh, double clear here. Darian's next to go, maybe Darian can oblige. Last year was a very nice double clear Grand Prix uh, over the last part of last year. Placing the dynamic BNC final here last year. Second place with the double clear, Nicola Barry. Darian the second, 1-6-8. Good luck. What a very sensible round. Super double clear there for Nicola Barry in the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy, 50.20, and it obviously leads away. Yes, it's left a bit of time, but it's there in top spot. They've got to catch her now, that's for sure. Joseph Ferniho goes next. Roland Ferniho's Countess the second, 634 the number.
Nicely done, went on the six tries down to the last. Double clear, 45-45, and Joseph Fernio leads the way with Countess to second. Poppy Strong's next to go. Beneath Strong's Tully Reeby, it's me, number 858. More than capable of going double clear and catching that time of 45-45. Best of luck, Poppy Strong. Good one, 15.41 there for uh, Poppy Strong. Nicola Bates next to go. The horse that came from Southport originally, the Warren Farm team, Warren Miss Contendro, 5 and 9 1. We've got three double clears at the moment. Remembering it's got to be top three to have a chance at Andrew uh, Bowen's bonus tomorrow by winning the Grand Prix. Nicola Bates. To the 12th uh, for uh, Nicola Bates at 53-1-3. So it's Joseph Fernieho leading from Nicola Barry and Poppy Strong. They're the three double clears at the moment. But Rose Moss is our next to come forward with Kaliva. On good form at the uh, early part here on the international circuit, especially out in Belgium at Opgebeek and uh, Lier. Some good money won out there for this combination. Rose Moss. Well then, Rose Moss, 48-6-0, double clear, and it pops into second at the moment. Well, it's just the way the draw works out. Tracy Priest is due next, but Alex Thompson, very sporting and gentlemanly, moves up the order to help everybody out with Kathleen the fifth. Thank you, Alex, we do appreciate it. With the eight-year-old, 
that was double clearing place in that semi roll final at the British Young Horse Championships last year with some good performances at the Young Horse Show out in Larnaken. Also, Catalina V, 6 7 2. Nothing wrong with that, 51-1-0 and clear for Alex Thompson with uh, Kathleen in that up-and-coming eight-year-old who went very well on the young horse circuit last year. So let's took, have a look at things as they stand. We have five double clears, Joseph Fernieho leads 45.45, Rose Moss taking uh, that second place at the moment, 48-6-0, Nicola Barry third, Poppy Strong four and Alex Thompson there just jumping into fifth place. So Tracy Priest is uh, due, we're just waiting for her, it's just the way it works out, it has to be, but that gives you a chance to log on to Facebook, especially those who are here tomorrow night, uh, to pick the winner of the Grand Prix tomorrow. Can you predict tomorrow's winner? Well, if you can, you get a bundle of blue chip clothing and a saddle pad. If your chosen rider wins on the night, but you have to be here to win it, that's part of the rules, I'm told. Do make sure you pick those tickets up. Um, tomorrow, for those of you just arriving for tomorrow's classes, I'm right in saying it's an 8.30 start inside tomorrow morning. And uh, outside, 7.30. 7.30 start outside at tomorrow morning. We've got a lion in here for good behaviour. Well, Kelly Roberts is going to move forward up the draw, we're told, to help things out with her own horse, Raymond. And it's about April, this, about April last year she picked up this horse uh, oh, from over in Holland and she has had some tremendous results with it at 135 and above level. Super clear in the first round for the Lady of Cheshire, 280, Kelly Roberts. Good luck. Eight for jumping, a little bit of time there as well. 57-5-0, three of those. So we're two disappointed there. Total of 11 for Kelly Roberts and uh, Raymond. Five open wins out of its last six shows. This combination, fascinating seat belt. He's here for the money, not to make up the numbers. Eurosport horses, whisper in the wind. 766, Menel Watson.
45-24, and he has gone into the lead, whispering the wind of Paul Menel Watson and the Eurosport horse team. Uh, Tracy's back then with her next ride, this time with high performance, Carusa de Rez Z, number 11.36 is their number. Jumping the BNC Championships here last year for money. We've got a new leader, 42-1-5 into top spot. Previous winner of the Grand Prix, looking good for Tracy Priest. Caruso de Rez Z goes clear, 42-1-5. So Tracy Priest leads from Menel Watson, Joseph Fernieho, Rose Moss, Nicola Barry, Poppy Strong, Alex Thompson, Tracy Priest again, and Alfie Bradstock. They are your top nine, and it'll be nine for presentation. But it's not over yet because uh, James Johnson's our next to go. Based down south with the horse to tease up. Jumping numerous double trials, double clears in area trials with over the last summer time. Marion Clark's horse, Zucchini van der Zuthover, 576. Twelve there, uh, fifty-two four five for uh, James Johnson. Right, Kerry Brennan, are you up for this? Forty-two at one five. It's the wonderful Wellington M, the little horse with the big heart. I always say, it, but it is seven ninety-one. Leanne Smith owns. Not tonight, I'm afraid. Total of eight for uh, Wellington, 47-3-3 in Kerry Brennan. 
Bussato jumped a nice first round for Miles O'Donnell. David O'Donnell owns the horse, number four, zero, eight. Could this be uh, double clear number eight? Well, you want to have a chat at that bonus. Got to finish in the top three. 42 on five leads, 45 2 4 in second, 45 4 5 in third. Good man, Miles O'Donnell, 4408, double clear in the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy as that goes in to second place. Could be one of those for contention for that £1,000 bonus, courtesy of Andrews Bowen tomorrow. But there's still five to go. And the first of those is Michaela Huntington with Allegro Z. Good winner of one of the championships here yesterday. This particular has had several international wins at the above 135 level. Forty-four seven two and a total of eight there for Michaela Huntington uh, with Allegro Z. Quick change round from Rose Moss. Thank you. Uh, this is Western then one seventy-six. Double clear eighth in this one last year. Forty-seven, uh, one, two, and four faults. Four there for Rose Moss. Still in fifth with the double clear though. Jordan Gans next to go. She's had a super winter with this horse. Julia Gans at Lakeland Dancer, Great team finalist at Horse of the Year show last year. Jordan Gans, Lakeland Dancer.
Joseph Ford there for Jordan Gann, 49 at 67. It doesn't make the top nine, but it's into 12th overall. Looks like 15 cash prizes here. Two to go. Matt Sampson, the first of those. Best of that, Matt, it's uh, Roy the fourth, number 1083. Forty-two nine four. That's a clear there from Matt Sampson. It goes in to second place. So at the moment, Tracy Priest and Matt Sampson guaranteed to have a crack at that thousand-pound bonus. But who's the third one going to be? Miles O'Donnell or our last to go? Yaz Davis, Sylvester the second, two thirty-seven. Best of luck. Forty-seven, forty-nine, double clear for Yaz Davis with the Sylvester, and that goes into sixth place, confirmed with the judges. Tracy Priest wins it then with Carusa de Z clear forty-two, one five. So Tracy Priest wins it with Carusa de Z. Matt Sampson taking second with Roy the fourth. Miles O'Donnell in third place with uh, Borsato. Menel Watson takes the fourth, Whisper in the Wind. Joseph Ferniho fifth with Countess. Yaz Davis, just seen her, taking sixth place with uh, Sylvester. Then we go to seventh, Rose Moss with Kaliba. Eighth, Nicola Barry with Darien. And ninth, Poppy Strong with Tull Reevee, It's Me. Also in the money, but not required for presentation. The tenth goes to Alex Thompson. Tracy Priest takes eleventh with Caristo. Rose Moss takes 12th with uh, Weston. 13th, well, that's Alfie Bradstocks with Temple Rebus. 14th, Jordan Gann with Lakeland Dancer. And 15th, bit of cash for David Murdoch with uh, the Home Farms team, Jolene de Carmel, in 15th place. Presentation of awards is on the way.
So just to uh, reiterate, tomorrow morning, 8.30 start time indoors, uh, 7.30 start time outdoors tomorrow. And of course, car the night tomorrow night. Make sure you do those uh, Facebook competitions entries, fill in your slips for the um, saddlecloth draw as well that we do every day. Take those out of the program down to uh, Sarah Eldon, her team on the stand. They'll put in the draws for uh, done at three o'clock every day. So we a good day tomorrow, actually. We can start the pony competitions. We've got the JCJA, the Sparkle, that's always a good one. That Blue Chip Dynamic BNC Championship. DDS Demolition 125, that's all before we go into uh, Gala Evening. The Kings of the Question Junior Challenge and the Blue Chip Grand Prix. What a great competition. And ladies and gentlemen, we uh, ask you to welcome in the winners of the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy, led in by the winner, driving Ivor Farman's Caruso de Rez Z. She's done it again, she's done it before. Tracy Priest. As ever, our grateful thanks going to all the team at Blue Chip for their continued support here at the Blue Chip Winter Championships. Now in its 26th year, and Sarah Elder, commercial manager for the team at Blue Chip, stays with us to make the presentation awards to Tracy Priest. Roll on tomorrow night because that lady has won this Grand Prix in the past. It was a few years ago now, but she's on for that £1,000 bonus as well tomorrow. But she must win again tomorrow to take that. Well done to uh, you indeed, Tracy. Heading down the back line and saying congratulations to Matt Sampson in second. Matt with his own Roy the Fourth. He'll be one to watch tomorrow for sure. Always fast against the clock is Matt Roy the Fourth. Miles O'Donnell takes the third. Could be a thousand pound bonus for him tomorrow with Bursato, but he's got to win it tomorrow night. The very informed Menel Watson and the brilliant team of the Eurosport horse whisper in the wind, taking four. Joe Fernieho double clear in fifth, rather than Fernieho's uh, Countess. Going down to sixth place, Yaz Davis. Alison Davis is a Sylvester. Rose Moss is there in seventh with uh, Kaliva. Ten double clears tonight in this one.
Nicola Barry there taking the eighth place, Darien the second. And Poppy Strong to uh, conclude the lineup here, Penny Strong's Till Reeve, It's Me. As ever, Sarah Elder, thank you very much indeed to you for making the presentation awards on behalf of Blue Chip Commercial Manager Sarah Elder. It's a lap of honour time then for the winners of the Blue Chip Winter Championships and the Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy led away by Tracy. And all on our own, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Brilliant performance. The Blue Chip Pro Open Challenge Trophy, Caruso de Rez, Tracy Priest. Thank you, everybody. Brilliant team effort, as always, on Thursday here at the Blue Chip Winter Show Jumping Championships. We're back tomorrow in the Indoor Arena, 8.30. It's 7.30 for our side. Enjoy the rest of your evening. See you in the morning. Good night.